Hello and welcome friends. Today we are going to start with statistics for class 11. We are going to begin with the theoretical part of statistics, understand various definitions and concepts of statistics. Since 1776, many definitions of economics have been given. Wealth definition by Adam Smith, welfare definition by Marshall, scarcity definition by Robbins, growth definition by Samuelson. Adam Smith is known as the father of economics. He defined economics as the study which inquires into the causes that determine the wealth and its growth. According to Marshall, economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It examines that part of individual and social action which is most intimately connected with attainment and use of material requisites of well-being. Now we are going to understand what are economic activities and what are non-economic activities. Economic activities are those activities which enable us to earn money. For example, and this earned money is included in the national income. For example, teacher teaching in a school for wages. Doctor treating patient for fees. Farmer growing crops to sell in the market. Non-economic activities are the activities which are undertaken for love, care, for religious purposes, etc. The income, there is no income, so naturally no income is added to the national income. For example, mother cooking food for the children, offering prayers in a temple, doing charity work, etc. Now we are going to understand what are economic activities and what are non-economic activities. Economic activities are those activities which enable us to earn money. For example, and this earned money is included in the national income. For example, teacher teaching in a school for wages, doctor treating patient for fees, farmer growing crops to sell in the market. Non-economic activities are the activities which are undertaken for love, care, for religious purposes, etc. The income, there is no income, so naturally, no income is added to the national income. For example, mother cooking food for the children, offering prayers in a temple, doing charity work, etc. Adam Smith's definition dwells only on wealth. It ignores the social and welfare aspect of society. And so it has been criticized by many. The most accepted definition of economics is, economics is the study of how people and society choose to employ scarce resources that have alternative uses in order to produce various commodities that
that satisfy their wants and to distribute them for consumption among various persons and groups in the society. We need to understand this definition by understanding few terms like scarce resources, alternative uses. Let us understand what this statement means. First, we will go with unlimited wants. Human beings have unlimited wants. Once a few of their wants are satisfied, the new ones crop up and the wants keep on growing. They are never satiated. Scarce means or resources. Resources are scarce. Everyone, be it a poor person or a rich person, the resources are scarce. He has limited sum of money which he has to employ to satisfy his unlimited wants. The third statement is means have alternative uses or resources have alternative uses like the land as a resource has many alternative uses. It can be used by a farmer for farming. The land can be used to build a school, a hospital for residential purposes. So any resource has many alternative uses. Vital activities of economics, consumption, deals with satisfaction of human wants, production, activities involved in production of goods and services for generation of income by enhancing production by various means, distribution, studies how income generated is distributed among various factors of production that is land, labor, capital and entrepreneur in forms of land, rent, labor, wages, capital, interest, entrepreneur, profit. Scope of statistics. Statistics is used in planning, statistics in business and management, statistics in industry, statistics in economy. Functions of statistics. It expresses facts relating to different phenomena in numbers. It presents complex data in a simple form. It enlarges person's power of reasoning and understanding. It compares data relating to factors. It helps in policy formulation. Economic is a social science. It deals with human beings and expects human beings to be rational. But at times human beings behave irrationally as they are emotional. In such cases the law of economics will not operate. Economics as a positive science it tells us what ought to be, what are the figures and what ought to be in the society. It suggests cause and effect relationship. Economics as normative science, it would work to find out what ought to be and how a problem should be solved. 
as a positive science, the example is that 25% of India's population is below poverty line. As a normative science, economics suggests the methods to er eradicate poverty. Vital activities of economics, consumption, deals with satisfaction of human wants, production, activities involved in production of goods and services for generation of income by enhancing production by various means, distribution, studies how income generated is distributed among various factors of production that is land, labor, capital and entrepreneur in forms of land, rent, labor, wages, capital, interest, entrepreneur, profit. Scope of statistics. Statistics is used in planning Statistics in business and management, statistics in industry, statistics in economy. Functions of statistics. It expresses facts relating to different phenomena in numbers. It presents complex data in a simple form. It enlarges person's power of reasoning and understanding. It compares data relating to factors. It helps in policy formulation. Now we will understand Statistics in singular sense. Statistics in singular sense refers to the science comprising of method which are used in collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of numerical data. Statistics in plural sense refers to aggregate of facts, numeric expressed, affected by multiplicity of causes, reasonable degree of accuracy, collected in systematic manner, predetermined purpose, placed in relation to each other. Now, today we have done Introduction to Statistics. In the next video, we will be discussing collection of data, etc. Please do like, share and comment on my video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.